I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, books, books. I, I, I'm a book There's just so many books. <laughs> Hello everyone, today's video is going to be a review on the book Love Rosie by Cecilia Ahern. I gave this book a three, three and a half stars out of five. I thought it was good, but there was just two things really that bothered me about this book and I'm going to talk about those two things first. The very first thing is the time jump. This book covers a lot of their lives from the moment they're very young to the moment they're like almost really old. So naturally these letters are going to progress and you're going to have time skips where it passes from one year to the next, from one letter to the next. The problem is it wasn't made so it was easy to know. You know what I mean? Like there was no dates on the letters and I feel like if the date, if all the dates and the IMs and the emails and stuff, if they had dates, it would be so much easier to keep track of how much time has jumped because I would lose track of it really easily and it was just very annoying and frustrating because you're like, but wait, she just got into school, how in the world is she graduating from one letter to the next? So I didn't like that and I also, my second issue with it was uh, there were some parts that dragged on a lot longer and I wish things would have been progressed better or it would have happened a little bit faster as opposed to dragging it on and the same thing kind of happening over and over again. But other than those two things, I really enjoyed the whole point of the story. It's about Alex and Rosie, two friends, friends since they were five years old, that love each other but keep missing each other at the same time. And by, what I mean by missing is... Something kept happening or another where they couldn't get together. One was afraid to tell the other and so on and so forth. And that's the whole point of the story is seeing how their lives move and go on from the time that they're really young to the time, you know, when they're married and have kids. And I mean, like separate because they don't get married and have kids. But and you keep seeing them miss and they love each other and they care about each other, but they're just not, you know, they're afraid to just tell the other something so that's what the whole point of it is and I really like that it's in letters and it's in emails and I am in format or Christmas cards and things like that I really did enjoy that I thought it was very personal because there's something about long writing or when people write letters to someone else it's just things that are said that usually aren't said so I really did enjoy that and I thought it was beautiful and I love that you don't only get the perspective between Alex and Rosie you get Alex and his brother or Rosie and her sister or Rosie and her best friend and then eventually you know her daughter and stuff like that and I really did love that even though I did get annoyed with the book I still enjoyed the ending and I did cry at the end a little bit I'm not gonna lie which is perfect Perfect and I loved it. I do like the movie more because I feel like it captures the essence of what the book is and it just it was perfect. It was beautiful and I just thoroughly loved it. But I would recommend this book. I know I'm even though it's only gave it a three, three and a half out of five stars. But it's still really good and if you're interested in a book like this then I highly recommend reading it. It's still really good and then you can let me know what you thought about it below. But that is my review for Love Rosie, and I'll see you next time. Bye!